like a bell cut. So, uh, I'm gonna have you pick any card that you'd like. It doesn't matter. Just pick a card. <coughs> you can look at it, show it to them, make sure they all know what it is. Is it Kim? Show them. Oh, he's already there. <laughs> right. And you can tell me when to stop. Stop. Right there. I'm not doing anything. You just put it in. Okay. Are you sure that's where you want, or do you want it in a different spot? I want it in a different spot. Different spot? Okay, we'll do it again. Stop. <laughs> right there? Yeah. Go ahead and that. <laughs> so there's a lot of cool ways to like shuffle a deck and mix up cards. Um, and for me, like there's a lot of different ways that I learned it. Initially, when I first learned to shuffle a deck, I would shuffle a deck on my knee like that, or on a table. But a real magician knows how to shuffle a deck in the air like this. Oops. <laughs> it's fine, that's just a random card. A real magician knows how to shuffle a deck in the air like that, without having to use a table. He gets trained with his hands, right? Or he can do like one-handed cuts and things like that. So, if you see, all these cards are different, yes? Yes. All different cards. Cool. Um, the way this trick works is you can just cut the deck for me and where you want. Perfect. Hold on to the deck for me. Watch. Okay. No way. Go ahead. Look, look through those cards. Look through those cards. Hey guys, thanks for watching that trick. Now let's go over our tutorial. All right, so this is a turnover. It's a trick uh, I've kind of invented myself. I haven't seen anything on the internet on how to do it, but if there is one, please drop a comment to give credit to those people. But this is a really cool trick that I came up with just messing around. And the way I figured out how to do the trick actually is when I do flourishes, for example, like this one, a lot of times I'll drop the cards and they'll go all over the place and it's a total mess. And I'll be picking up cards and some of them I'll pick up the right way, some of them I'll pick up the wrong way. And it's kind of a pain to like have to go through the deck a after you're done picking up the cards and have a bunch of them the wrong way. And so I would just kind of go like that to fix it. Let's say I have like a couple cards like this and I'm just trying to clean up my deck. Maybe there's some here and I'll, I'll just like go through the deck and be like just like that. And I'll, That's how I kind of clean up my cards. And I realized after a while, I could actually make this into a trick. So this is how you do it. The way this trick is done, and I've switched decks to make it easier to demonstrate. Um, first you have the spectator pick a card. Doesn't matter what. They have the three of diamonds. You let them put it anywhere in the deck that they want. And then you do a double undercut to get it to the top of the deck. If I haven't done a double undercut tutorial by now, you can find it somewhere on YouTube. It's a really easy trick. Just an easy way to get the card to the top. Then, once you've got to the top, you can just as easily cut it to the bottom with the cut to the bottom tutorial that we, I've also done on this channel. Now that you've got it on the bottom, you're gonna do a one-handed cut and pull the card out like this. That's the way I set it up. There's a lot of different ways that you can set it up. If you want, you can come up with your own way. The main point of getting it set up is so that you have it like this. So the card's sticking up like that and they don't know it. And you can make it really discreet, okay? So the way you wanna do it is you'll come to this point and be like, so look, if you take a look at these cards, they're all different, yes? Now, if we take the deck and you just go like that, and you, can, you just continue talking and it should be a very nonchalant thing. You just show them all the cards are different, yes? Cool. And if you, it's easier if you do it a little lower. So you'll say, look, all the cards are different. <laughs> so you say, look, all the cards are different. Um, let's cut the deck. If we fan through them, like that, your card should have turned over. The reason I'm doing it with a white versus yellow background so you can see it easier. It's a lot more discreet if you have cards with the same back and front border. 
So let's go into a little more detail on how you do this flip. Uh, you want it sticking out and you kind of want to hold it with one or two fingers. I usually have my pointer finger right here and then a couple fingers on this card right here. It's a very, very fast motion and you should try to make it as um, unimportant as possible, as if you're just putting the cards back like that. But you're actually flipping a card and the way you do it is by hitting it right up on your fingers and letting it roll like that. And you're following through with the deck when you do it. So you kind of let it roll, give it enough space, and just put the deck on top. One more time, it, it just rolls, and you put the deck on top. And you want to keep it as close to that top deck as possible because it's going to hide it the most. Okay? Just like that. And you'll keep it underneath it and another tip is to say you and the camera or the spectator, I don't want it angled towards you. I want it angled like this because you're not going to see if I do it like that. Okay. I'll switch to the other deck real quick and I'll show you what it looks like with some of the same borders. All right. So you've got their card and you say, look, all the cards are different. Okay. We can fan through and you're just kind of mentally keeping track of where the card is. And you go, all right, let's uh, take these cards, give them a cut and we'll look for yours. Something like that, you can kind of play with the wording. But it's really, really smooth. If you keep it a little lower, instead of right there, if you keep it a little lower, it's easier to hide. But make sure that you don't end up doing that if you keep it lower. You just go like that. And if it sticks out on the front, kind of make sure you use your mechanics grip to keep it up towards the top. So yeah, that's a really easy trick. Uh, you should be able to do it after just a couple minutes of practice and thanks for watching and tune in next time on Lake Effect Magic.